number of the day, number of the day, which number will it be, number of the day? And look, you can see the number is 17. That's our number of the day. There's our number shapes track. Can you see it? Can you see where 17 is? Remember, look at the number. You've got a digit 1, that means 110, and then you've got a digit 7, and that means 7 ones. So we need the number shapes that are a 10 and 7. Can you see it? I wonder if I can find it before you do. Mm, here it is, 17. Well done. OK, so if that's what 17 looks like as a number shape, what else does it look like? There we are, there's 17 fingers. I think you definitely need a friend to help you there. There are our number shapes in a different way. There's 17, and that's how you write the number, 17. Now, can we think of a number that is fewer than 17? So all the numbers on the number track that go from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, they're all fewer. So what number can you think of that's fewer than 17? I thought of the number, oh, wow, 11, number 11. Let's think of a number that is more than 17. You might think of a number that is lots more than 17, really large numbers. Or you might th think of a number that's only a few more than 17. So you might say 17, a, na, twa, and keep going. You could pick one of those numbers. I picked the number. Oh, my class loved that number. It's the number 1000. That's a big number. Imagine if you had a thousand of something. OK, but let's think of the number then just one less and one more. So let's put 17 in the middle and there's our number track. And you need to find 17 and then think uh, what comes before 17 by doing one jump down the number track um, towards where the numbers are smaller. And then back to 17 and do one more by doing one jump so the numbers are getting bigger. So um, I'm going to make the number track disappear now. So one less, the number that you say just before you get to 17 is 16. Well done. And if you're counting backwards, that's the number that you would say is one less. 17, 16, and then you could keep going 15, 14. That's one less each time. But if we want one more, you have to make your numbers get larger in amounts. So you can use the one less to help you now. 16, 17, one more is 18. Wow, well done, everyone. So what is 17 on our 10 frames? Let's have a look. Five. How many is that? Yes, it's 10. And you didn't need to count that because remember, when a 10 frame is full, it's always 10. And a 10 and one more is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's what 17 looks like on a 10 frame. What would that look like on our part whole model, I wonder? Make 17 as our whole. There we go, there's 17. Now remember with the part whole model, you can have a go at home um, at moving the uh, counters around so you can find out lots of different parts. You might have 16 and 1, for example, or you might have um, 2 and 15. But we always have one of our parts as 10, and then the other part would be 10 and, do you remember from the 
uh, number shapes at the beginning, 10 and 7. And you can use this to do adding, remember. So you've got 10 add 7 makes 17. Or you could say 7 plus 10 makes 17. But you can also do takeaways. So you can do um, 17 uh, take away 10 makes 7. Or 17 take away 7 makes 10. Have fun with your numbers, everyone. Bye.